hi there once again welcome to my channel and this i'm going to show you how to use adobe indesign to auto number web pages so adobe indesign is one of the amazing tools out there that you can easily use to create magazine brochures and other books that you will need to use for your own stuff so let's assume you want to create a page like just as i have i've created a brochure and as you can see i don't have any number so how do i put numbers on these pages i want to auto generate numbers for these pages i can't do it manually because i have a lot of pages so i just want to automatically assign numbers to these pages so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to do everything step by step stay tuned to the end of this video in order for you to see how i'm going to do this remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime i upload a new content so okay so we're going to do that in a bit so remember that if you come to the far right i have my pages showing up over here. you can see that it has been numbered in that order but the numbers are not showing on these pages so I'm going to use a technique to add that. If you come to the far right corner where you have what we call a master, a master. So in this master page, this is where I'm going to add my numbers. So as you can see, we don't have numbers for now. So I just double click on my master, the first one. And when I come here, this is actually my master page. So when I assign the numbers over here, these numbers will appear on each and every individual pages. So to go ahead to do that, I'm just going to use a text tool and then I want my number to show out here. So I'll go to my tools column and select my, my type tool and then drag it over here. So all I want to do is that I want to see page and then the rest is going to follow. So to get my number of tool generator, I'll go to type in my menu and then I'll go to what? You go to special characters. So you go to special characters and you just have to go to uh, markets. When you move to markets and you select what? Current page number. When I click over, I notice I have what? A assigned over there. So that's going to be a default number. So this is going to be a number that will be generated or two. Okay. So this is a number that will be shown on each and every page. I still need that number on my... So my page is going to be two. Left and right and I want to say number to be generated on that page so i just copy this and i'm just going to copy the same thing and paste it on the other part of my web page okay so when i when i drag this when i paste this i'll just drag it to this side of my page and let me reposition this so once this is set I will go back so let's just go back and then click on click on our main page from here when I double click over you can see this time around the number is showing so go to every page the numbers have been assigned automatically as we wanted but you can see right now it's starting from three so that means my page cover to have been assigned a number which I don't want so I don't want my page number to be assigned a number my first page i put a picture over there so i don't want the number to show over there so i want page one to start from here instead of page three so it's starting the one from here so how then do i go there or how then do i manage that or how do i correct that to do that i'll come to my pages over here right click on my page three in which i want to force one to start from right click and then i'll go to what numbering and section option when i click over i'll change to start page numbering so i want this to start from what one so i'll change three from i'll change from three and i'll type what one every other thing is going to be the same okay and i'll click ok i'll just ignore everything and click ok so look at what is happening now so if you come to my main page now you see where i have my order of proceedings is starting from one let's check the rest and see if it's to pick in that order so you can see the rest will not pick in that perfect order one two three in that order so we can just go ahead and then 
get our information all the way the number now, if you don't want a number on a certain page you can just go ahead and drag when you come here at the far right corner we have something called none so you don't want a, a page number on a certain page you can easily drag and drop so i'll zoom in on my last page which is 52 i don't want a number to show on it i can just drag the none and drop it on it at the right corner and you could see that the number will disappear from there so this is basically how you can do auto assign of page numbers on a, in any booklet be it magazine or whatever using adobe InDesign. remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content so that come your way another time continue to visit Tech and hit the like button bye bye